Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Pop Stash Pop. So today we're ditching the plectrum and we're gonna use four fingers on our fretting hand, all right? So not that big of a deal because it's plucking all at the same time and you're just going fingers, bass note, fingers, bass note, fingers, bass note. So it's not like a, you know, a hard pattern to do. So it's a perfect introduction into using your fingers. Now, if you need help with the strumming department, click the video in the description box down below. That is a video all on strumming, guaranteed to get this hand tied to the upstrokes, the downstrokes. So check that video out. It's not on YouTube. Down in the description box, there's a link. So other than that, the song, it's not too bad. We're gonna do some chords that you might not be used to, but it's cool, right? And then we're gonna do some also some chords that you will know. So it's gonna be a nice lesson where we're getting to use fingers, different chords, all that stuff, throwing it all together in a nice package with, it's pretty sad. So get, you know, maybe a box of tissues to wipe off your fretboard if you're done bawling after you learn how to play it and sing it. <laughs> Let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so check this out. We're gonna use the first three fingers of our picking hand and our thumb for this tune. And we're gonna go back and forth between plucking these three fingers and using our thumb to catch the low note of whatever chord we're playing or the root note. Okay, so song starts off super easy. Well, it's pretty easy throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Once you get used to the pattern, it's no big deal. The two things that we're gonna have to do is get used to plucking. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pluck the D, G, and B first, and then go to the root note. Now, for 90% of the song, there's either gonna be a pattern of four or eight per chord. And what I mean by that is, for instance, if we did four, it would be one, two, three, four. Pattern at eight would be the same thing. So when you come back to pluck, just count that as one, then you do the root and then you come back and pluck again, that would be the next one, two, okay? So the only other tricky part of the song is for some of the chords, like when we do this, basically a C chord with a G in the bass, you have to pluck and then hammer on multiple strings. Now that particular chord, what you're gonna be doing is with your first and second finger, you're gonna hammer the first fret B and the second fret D. The trick is not only to hammer on, but to keep that G string ringing too, okay? So that's the trickiest part of the whole song. Other than that, not too bad. So the beginning of the song is a little bit different than the verses. So let's check that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, pause. A little dramatic extension with two more on the C with the G in the bass. <laughs> For effect in the song. Then we go into the actual verse where we get to hold the first two chords, this one and this one, twice as long. So it's gonna be patterns of eight now. So check out the first half of the verse is gonna go like this. All I did was the same two chords and then, and then after those two chords, both patterns of eight, you're gonna go to an A minor chord. Now you're gonna have to switch the root note with your thumb. So now it's gonna be the A string because we're playing an A minor chord and you have to do that hammer on to an A minor chord. So you pluck D, G, and B open and then hammer an A minor chord. So second finger, D, two, ring finger G2, first finger B1, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is the only chord, this D with an F sharp in the bass, this is the only one where I pluck all the strings at once. Okay, 
Now to do this one, you're gonna be on G2, B3, and then with your first finger, you're gonna be on E2. Okay, and I'm gonna pluck all of them and then go to the root note. So it's. The reason I do that is there's no hammer on in this one. So it just makes sense to pluck it all together. And then you come back to the root. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's gonna be the first half of the verse. So in review, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the first half of the first verse. Now the second half, the G and the C with the G in the bass, same exact thing, patterns of eight. Right? Now the different part comes in when we do the A minor. It's gonna be a pattern of four, pattern of four. So two, two. Now we're gonna end this a little bit different. Okay, and that's gonna be the end of the verse. Now we end the verse like this. So we're gonna pluck one, Put your first and second finger down, and then take them off, okay? One, three, and that's the whole verse, okay? And then we get into the chorus. So let's review that really quick. Verse. Let's get into the chorus. All right, I forgot something. On the last part, you know the... It's a hammer, it's not. It's... Okay, <laughs> had to clarify that. Now, when we get into the chorus, this is where we're actually gonna do an official C with a G in the bass, okay? So what you're gonna do to do that is you're gonna make a C chord like this, but instead of putting your ring finger here, your ring finger is actually gonna go on the third fret of the E, and then you're gonna tuck your pinky in right there. Okay, now to get both of those notes, now you just kinda have to strum those two notes with your thumb and then pluck the other ones, right? So it's... Okay, so that's how the chorus starts off with that chord and it's gonna do it a pattern of eight. We're gonna still gonna do the patterns of eight and four, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, so that one, we're gonna sneak one of those hammers in there. One, two, three, four. So it's still the pattern of eight, but it's the G, but you snuck in a hammer on. Okay. Now the next chord we're gonna go to is that F sharp. Two, three, four, back to one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's the first half of the chorus. So let me play the first half of the chorus. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, now the second half, we're gonna go to that C over G, or you know, the C with the G in the bass. We're gonna play that a pattern of eight again. Now we're gonna introduce a new chord, E minor. One, two, three, four, back to the the whole chorus so including the little transitional part so what we did the second time around is we started off the same way we did in the first part of the chorus you do the C with the G in the bass a pattern of eight two three four five six seven eight E minor for four one two three four back to the C with the G in the bass one two three four now we're just gonna go to the G. One, two, three, four. D with F sharp for four. One, two, three, four. And now it's the transitional part of the chorus, which is just like the intro, but now it's the official length of time. We don't extend it. So it goes one, two, three, four. So let me play the whole chorus. Here we go. Now we're gonna go back into the verse, but this time the verse is shorter and goes right into a chorus. So let's check that out. Okay, so for the second verse, <clears throat> what you essentially do is you go back to, or this is the, the last verse between the you know going out of the song. What you're gonna do is you're going to do basically the second half of the verse that you did. In the beginning okay so that's going to be the G for two one three four five six seven eight one three four five six seven eight a minor And then it goes into the chorus, which is the exact same way we did the previous chorus, okay? Now, at the very end of the song, there's a little bit of a pause. And at the end of the um, the second chorus, I believe it does, you know, the transitional part we do. Three, four, It does a little bit longer again this time, but it doesn't pluck it, right? So it's just like the duration of the chord introduction of this song, right? Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it goes into the very end of the song. Now the very end of the song does the G for two, and the C with the G for two. One, seven, eight, two, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Sorry, just that chord. There we go. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's review that whole ending part one more time. So the very end is. Yes, way to go. Welcome. If this is your first time here, don't be afraid to subscribe. There's hundreds of videos here. I think there's over like 470 or 480 videos. Over there, Papa Stash 102, there's another couple hundred. So between the two, there's hundreds and hundreds of songs to check out. So make sure you check the channels for the song you might be looking for, because chances are I maybe have already done it. So check that out if you're a local. You know the drill. Big hug. Thank you for checking back. And don't be afraid to share the videos either. If you like what you see, just pass it on. That whole row down there of emblems of whatever they are and whatever they stand for, just click all of those and share. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you once again for checking in and Pop a Stash Pop. Catch you next time.